Life may not be the same as compared to before the pandemic times, but life always gives us reasons to be grateful every day. And that's a miracle that we have to recognize. I want to kick off our episode 7 of the Good Life Project series with this specific topic, 9 simple ways to make self-improvement that will change your life. Being in a hurry all the time drains your energy. Your work and routine life make you feel overwhelmed. Getting caught up in things beyond your control stresses you out. Just a reminder to love yourself and stay cool and calm in stressful situations. I want to take this time to thank the Semiconductor and Electronics Industries in the Philippines Foundation Incorporated, or SAP, for inviting me as your keynote speaker on your ASIMEPS 16 benchmarking convention. It's a privilege and an honor. And I also want to take this time to express my deepest appreciation and thanks to Ask Lex PH Academy for inviting me as a guest on your weekly Kapihan with Lex. I hope our viewers learned something from what I shared. And I thank you so much for the Maharlika Coffee PH product. You are amazing. And lastly, I want to say thank Thank you so much to all those individuals from around the globe for all the support during the 31st National Quality Forum last November 11th and First World Innovation and Benchmarking Summit last November 25, 2020. I also want to thank our dear sponsors, Call Miner, Asus Business, The Medical City, ACF Consultancy and Training Services, San Miguel Yamamura Packaging Corporation, Alson's Power Group, and Minitab. And of course, to all of you who keep on supporting my journey and my channel. I believe you're all ready. Let's play this. Those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. This quote is about the one certain thing in life, and that's change. Change will always happen. The question is, will you allow your mind to change as the new facts are revealed? To move beyond where you are requires change. Progress is what we call that motion when it is a desired direction or at least desired to the person calling it progress. That requires us to be willing to change our minds when the errors in our thoughts are pointed out to us. If we are unwilling to change our minds, there is nothing which can be done for us, right? This quote is about examining the facts and changing our opinions when the facts no longer support our prior thoughts or beliefs. For our topic for today, I will share with you the simple ways in self-improvement that can change your life. As you would notice, I said simple ways because it doesn't have to be big for you to change for the better. One thing for sure that I know that you should have is consistency, determination, and willingness to try some things that will stretch you and challenge you. Let's start with number one. Be willing to work hard. If you want something, you've got to work hard and work smart to get it. This doesn't mean that you have to burn yourself out working longer hours with little sleep or no life at all. What I'm trying to say is that if you want something badly enough, you will put your energy, your effort, and your time into it to get there. Action is what's important here. And the more inspired the action is, the better the results in the end. Number two, make sure you have friends who you can talk to. We all need feedback from others, especially from those individuals whom we call friends, who can provide us honest and constructive feedback. At the same time, our friends are part of our support system, especially when times are tough and we don't we don't have anyone to turn to you need friends who will tell you how it is even when you don't want to hear it 
Number three, adapt to your circumstances rather than overthinking them. Sometimes things happen. You've suddenly lost job, or your partner has left you, or there's a negative thing that happened to you. I know it's easier said than done. Instead of overanalyzing the situation, learn to adapt to your circumstances and accept them as they are. It's not about making your circumstances into some kind of a drama. Remember, what you focus on expands, which means you'll get more of it. Let me repeat that. What you focus on expands, which means you will get more of it. You then don't become your problems and you will feel a lot less burdened by them. Number four, ensure that you use your time wisely. We've all heard all through our lives that time is cold. And it really is, right? It's so precious. We only have one life and it's totally short and how you use your time is very important. How? It's only you who can answer that. You can start by looking at how you currently spend your days. You use it working all day. It and then sit slumped in front of the TV for the rest of the evening. Our time in this world is short, so isn't it time to make use of the time you have left? Try something new, go for a walk, learn a new language, or meditate, but make sure it's something you absolutely love or wanted to do. Number five, always be prepared to step out of your comfort zone. We've been hearing this that in order for us to learn and to grow, we have to step out of our comfort zone. But the question is, have we done something like you went out of your comfort zone? It's so nice to hear, but it will make a huge difference in your life if you'll do something. It doesn't have to be something big, like doing a skydive or something just as crazy. However, it's worthwhile to change something that you would once have feared. So try something new. It doesn't have to be wacky, but it has to challenge you. Number six, be on hand to help others. Whether it's helping a stranger on the street or a family member or a friend, helping someone else either in their time of need, lending a helping hand is a wonderful and simple self-improvement to make. Giving to others is not only beneficial to those you are helping, but also to yourself. It can give you a sense of purpose, of contribution, and also takes your mind of your own troubles and worries. Number seven, live in the present moment. A wonderful self-improvement tool is to live in the present moment, to live in the now. It is within this moment that you'll appreciate all that you have and see the beauty in the simplest of things. Being mindful of your current circumstances and bringing your mind back to where it belongs will bring about a happier way of life instead of constant worry or stressing about the past or future. Remember that the past and future do not exist in the present moment. Only the present moment exists. When you get used to living that way, you will never want to go back. Number eight, learn something new. There is nothing so liberating as learning something new. It can lift both your confidence and self-esteem and give you great reason to meet new people. If you continually top up your brain activity by learning something new all the time, you will feel on top of your game and want to share the knowledge you have learned. There is nothing quite so empowering as learning a new tool in life that can either improve your circle of friends or raise confidence levels or both. And number nine, exercise daily. This seems an obvious one, but exercise is so important, not only to your health, but also to your spirit. We all know that after exercise, the world can feel a brighter and more positive place. So why don't we do it more often? Exercise isn't about getting the perfect body or losing weight. It's more about feeling good inside and out. With a healthy body comes a healthy mind. So you start something today. Even if it's just a daily walk, it's better than staying on that couch again. The bottom line is there are simple ways on how we can improve ourselves. And most of it we've been hearing 
or we've known all through our lives, but we're just not doing it. Let me ask you, my friend, why? Start writing down areas where you want to improve on and come up with realistic plan that you can do and monitor in how you're doing it. Please share in the comment section below your experiences and if you have some more tips that you can add, feel free to comment your tips. If you like this content, please share this to your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe. This has been my personal advocacy to share with you mindset and motivation videos. You can also follow my social media accounts. Just check the description box below. That's all it for our seventh episode. I hope you've learned something. Watch out next Sunday in our next episode. This is Mind Grit by Dr. Ray Fremista. Remember to be happy always.